Hello everyone, Carson here, and in today's video I'm going to be explaining to you if Hostinger is good for WooCommerce. Now I'll drop a link in the description to a more detailed explanation of this and where you can receive special discounts. Alright, so let's get into the video. Okay, so as you can see on my screen, I'm on the Hostinger website right now. Now, Hostinger is essentially a website hosting platform. They are known, they are essentially famous for having the cheapest plans on the internet. Their hosting plans are extremely cheap, and it's an extremely good deal for any new hosters or new website developers who are starting out. Now, depending on the type of website you're building, you may be looking to use WooCommerce on your hosting platform. WooCommerce is essentially the go-to e-commerce platform for anyone who's using WordPress to build a website. Now, WooCommerce is an open source plugin which you can get on any WordPress website. Now this website can be hosted pretty much anywhere where the hosting company allows you to use WordPress as a CMS system. All you have to do is get into your WordPress dashboard, then go ahead and click over to plugins and click add new. Then from there what you're going to do is once it loads, you're just going to go ahead and search up WooCommerce and hit enter. As you can see here on my screen, we've got WooCommerce which pulls up. Now WooCommerce has 5 plus million active installs and is rated 4.5 stars. As you can see, it is essentially the most popular e-commerce platform on WordPress without a doubt. Now different web hosting companies will have different varying degrees of compatibility with WooCommerce. So the question remains, how does Hostinger deal with WooCommerce? Is it very compatible or does it have some features which are missing which would be very good for a WooCommerce website? Now as you can see, we're actually looking at the Hostinger WooCommerce hosting on my screen right now. Hostinger actually has a customized plan, a customized hosting plan for people who specifically want to build a website that runs WooCommerce. Essentially, you get to make your own customized online store, and this plan supports it very specifically and tries to mesh its performance and compatibility to WooCommerce specific websites. Now, just looking at the plans, as you can see, the Woo Starter is $3.99 per month. It is slightly more expensive than their other plans, their shared hosting plans. The reason for this is because these plans, these WooCommerce hosting plans, are hosted on their very own custom web server, which is only compatible with WooCommerce WordPress based websites. Essentially, you're not going to be finding any other websites without WooCommerce on this server. The reason being is the server is created specifically to be compatible and optimized for WooCommerce websites. Now because of this, Hostinger actually also offers a custom control panel for their WooCommerce hosting. What this means is you're going to be seeing this custom control panel from where you can access all the information and just make decisions, updates, stuff like that, add plugins, add compatibility, all that stuff is going to be in their own custom developed dashboard which they've basically created to try and make it more streamlined and easier to use than it already is. Now with this in mind and getting back to the question of if Hostinger is good for WooCommerce, I definitely have to say yes. By offering these custom WooCommerce plans, Hostinger tries to ensure that you're going to be getting the best compatibility and the, the most streamlined performance for your WooCommerce website while still providing a very cheap price because it is shared hosting. You can think of it this way, it's basically a customized version of shared hosting. It's shared hosting but created and optimized for a WooCommerce website, which means in general you should expect better performance from this type of customized hosting plan for or WooCommerce than if you just hosted it on any other regular old hosting plan. Now something I did find out while researching is that it also does come with a 30 day money back guarantee, which means if you go ahead and buy it, set it up, and then you're like, nah, I don't want to use WooCommerce, you know, I want to use some other platform, some other CMS, you can just get your 30 day money back guarantee and no harm is going to come of it. So just to recap and before we finish this video, I do think Hostinger actually is very compatible and very good for WooCommerce. From all the research I've done and from what I can gather, it's a rather successful platform and it's a very popular hosting plan on Hostinger. So if you are going to be building an online store or an online WooCommerce store specifically, and if you're not just doing WordPress or just doing some other CMS, but you specifically are building an online WooCommerce store, well then this plan is probably going to be good for you. 
It is priced slightly more than their regular shared hosting plans, but because of that, you are going to be getting that optimized performance for e-commerce specifically, not for just WordPress, not for just shared hosting or any type of CMS. Because on those servers, the servers themselves aren't quite as customized. They have to support a wider range, a broader variety of different CMS systems. But with the WooCommerce hosting, it specifically is built to support WooCommerce. So yeah, this wraps up today's video. Now, if you do have any questions, just drop them in the comments and I'll go ahead and respond to them and answer your questions. Also, just a reminder that I do have a link below where you can view a more detailed explanation of this and also receive special discounts. Well, thanks for watching, till next time and have a great day.